Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Eric. So I have a few things that I've done to my solar system that I want to share with you guys as like an update. So I have added one, two, three, and four solar panels to this. So I have a total of 10 solar panels on here. Um, the six that are in here, those are 100 watt solar panels. And the, the four that I added for the 10 solar panels, they are 110 watt solar panels i'm running these in parallel so i will tell you a little bit more about that and they're not all hooked up together so the 400 the full 110 watt is on their own system and the six 100 watts are on their own system so it is nine o'clock in the morning and the sun is shining bright and this tracker is doing its job working at the end of the day the sun was set on that side over there and the solar panel will be facing toward that way when it sets so i want to go down and i want to show you guys a little bit about what i've done um also and this little small solar panel right here that's going to be to um charge my battery at the bottom of my ego worthy solar tracker that tracks the sun so i'm gonna leave a link in the description for the solar tracker uh for the solar panels and for the rest of the things that I'm going to show you. So um, let's head in and take a look at the system itself. All right, so one of the first thing I want to show you guys, these are my lead acid batteries that I've taken out. And excuse the mess, I'm still working down here. So um, I just want to stop working for a second and show you what I'm doing. So these are my lead acid batteries that I've taken out. Um, so I'm going to show you what I put in instead of those. All right, so I have three 200 amp hour live time 12 volt batteries so this is going to give me a total of 600 amp hours plus and the reason i say plus is this is the live time uh 200 amp hour plus automatic self-heating we all know cold weather affects the charging of your batteries these batteries here and you got to worry about that so these have heating pads in them where when it get cold this battery self heats itself where you're still able to charge your battery. So if it's cold outside, you got sun outside and you got it hooked up to your solar system and your batteries are froze, you're not going to get anything. But with these here, these batteries are going to heat up and you're able to accept the charge into the batteries where you're not damaging your battery. So I do like that. So now let's talk about the charge controllers. All right, so those solar panels that I showed you, six of them are on this charge controller. The other four is on this charge controller. I ran them in parallel, but I got these coming in separately, but they all hooked up to the battery. And the reason I've done that is because I get, these are 40 amp MPPT charge controllers. So I max out at 40 amps per charge controller. So instead of combining all those solar panels, if I ran two sets in parallel, which I am going to do three sets total, um, what I want to do is make sure I got enough amperage in here to charge these batteries up. So right now, I'm getting 32 amps coming in to charge this battery bank up on system number one. The second system that's tied into it on the four solar panels, I'm getting 24 amps coming in to charge these batteries. So MPPT charge controllers get the max out of your solar panels to bring enough amperage in to do what you need to do. So I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. And this system is awesome. And again, you saw that one right there fluctuating um, as you straighten back out to 24. The clouds come across. When clouds come across, you'll see them jump a little bit. Um, run them in parallel. I am going to put a third one in here. I'm going to put it right there. And like I said, I want enough to charge these batteries up in maybe four or five hours when I got a lot of sunlight, but also I want enough storage capacity to run throughout the night to hold things. And I'm gonna tell you what, that right there, this can hold me for a while. Um, that That's a lot of kilowatts involved in these 200 amp hour batteries. So when you combine them and you run them in parallel, you're still gonna have 12 volts, but however, your amp hours is going to add up. So that's 600 amp hours at 12 volts. Now, my charge controller here is the Expert Power Charge Controller. It's a 3,000 watt 
Uh, this is a pure sine wave inverter charger uh, with the automatic transfer switch. So right now I do have it on um, I have it on DC power as prior, primary priority. So which basically means so I'm tied into my my grid, right? So if my batteries for some reason go low, this kick over to shore power and it charge my batteries up. But I'm not worried about it getting that low. But if I got a a week or two of really cloudy weather, really nasty weather, and I deplete my battery bank, it automatically kicks over, charges these battery bank up to 100% until the sun comes back out, and then I'm working back. But once this goes to 100%, um, it kicks back over to the solar to use the battery, so my shore power will cut off, and then I'm working back on my uh, solar batteries. Um, again, this is expert power. It's the pure sine wave. Um, inverted charger with automatic transfer switch it's a 3000 watt one and it has a 9000 watt surge so this thing can power up a lot of stuff so I'm um, put a link in the description for that as well uh, but I'm telling you man this this is awesome I'm happy with the decision I made I'm going with the lithium I am gonna build a metal cage for this um, one thing I don't want to do and then a lot a lot of reading these are not supposed to go up in flames but uh, I don't want it to go up in flames anyway, but I do want to build a metal box to put all three of these in. Maybe big enough to put a fourth one here and uh, encase these so just in case of a fire, then I'm protected. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, um, Renergy 40 amp MPPT charge controller ran in parallel to power the system up. Three lifetime 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries expert power 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter charger with automatic transfer switch with a 9000 watt surge coupled with right now 10 solar panels six which are 100 watts four of them are 110 watt solar panels so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um leave your comments in in below and i'm going to add some things into the description where you can find these um for charge controller, the batteries, the expert power, power inverter, and even the solar panels. And that solar tracker which tracks the sun all day long, as long as the sunlight out, to give me maximum. You get 40% more power putting into your battery bank with that solar tracker, which I'm loving that because that follows the sun all day long. So check it out, guys. Let me know what you think about the video. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in and watching, and thank you for your time. And if you don't mind, Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share it, and thank you guys.